What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's another Thursday, so we are back with some more player reviews and player guides, right? We're going to throw in Lampard, Scolzi and Parchi Sung into a review slash breakdown slash guide, right? I will have different builds of these cards if we do start to train them a different way, especially that you can re reset the progression, right? But these are in a pack of 150 players, and you can see here that it is made up of Lampard, Scholes, Parchi Sung, and then the rest are kind of English stars uh, from various clubs, right? So obviously the prize possessions here are these three boys. Listen, I'm kind of always always been down on Scolzi and Lampard. Some people swear by Scolzi. Um, I think Parchi Sung is a good option here as well, but we will take a look at what you can do with these cards, starting with Parchi Sung, right? So first thing for me is he's got a wavering form on B rating, which is nice before the season restarts again. You're going to be able to kind of have him in your starting 11. He's also got double touch, which is unusual for a player like this because he is uh, really a much an engine man with that 88 stamina and fighting spirit. He also has interception, pinpoint crossing, long range curler, cut behind and turn and pinpoint or track back. So you are going to be getting a lot of bang for your buck here. And I think if you play Parchi Sung on that left flank or right flank as a right or left midfielder and be able to get crosses in, be able to kind of use his AI uh, and his movement and his player ID, whatever is there of it to be able to like, you know, cut behind and turn as they say there with the player skills when you have control of him. But even the runs and the interception that he has with the player skill there, the captaincy, the fighting spirit, you can make this card pretty beastly. Now, look, is he going to be kind of like a meta player? A lot of people ask that all the time. He's possibly not, lads. I mean, let's be honest. There's a lot of really, you know, good epics there as well. But sometimes, you know, if you've watched me long enough and you know how to play this game and you know exactly what works in this game, it's not all about stats, right? So if we are going to be training up Park here, and again, Park was one of my favorite players at United when he was there. He was, you know, he was an honest day's work that you'd get out of him. Um, he was an absolute beast of a player and he always gave it his all. 88 dribbling, 90 acceleration, 93 stamina, 78 aggression with 79 defensive engagement, and then you also have 82 low pass and 79 lofted pass. Now, this is kind of, I would say, more of a central midfielder uh, type player. You can play him in a central midfielder role there and an attacking midfielder role. This is kind of where you'd be putting him in if you wanted to play him as a CMF, right? You're going to be getting on the ball, so you do need that tight dribbling. You're going to be taking people on and bursting through box to box. You are going to need to be very solid all round, okay? But if you are looking to play him on the left or right midfield or left or right uh, flanks, I would definitely probably recommend boost up, you know, take down the dribbling just a fraction. You can still keep the dribbling at eight, but I would pop up the passing, especially the 82 uh, lofted pass. I want to get that a little bit higher, right? Um, you probably don't need to defend in as much on the, on the wide area either. 75 aggression is probably more than enough. Um, and if you wanted to go, you know, two more, three more onto passing or two more onto passing, you could go that route to have 87 low pass. But it's all about the lofted pass. If you can get that lofted pass over 85 with the player form arrow, which you should with the B form and the unwavering form, as we see here with form three, um, that is definitely something to keep an eye on, right? So yeah, he's not the best player in this pack, but he is definitely a beast. Next up, we've got Scolzi, right? A lot of people talk about Scolzi, and if you are a good player, you will be able to use Scolzi quite well as an AMF. I think he is definitely one of the most underrated, slept-on AMFs in the game, and this is definitely the best card that they've released of him, um, depending on how you want to train him up, right? Because you are, be, you are able to be a little bit more... Um, aggressive and you know be defensively a little bit more sound as well right the thing i like about this card is the fact that he does have knuckle shot on it or he does have dipping shots on it which seem to be kind of um a little bit meta at the moment i would say um is this going to be a game changing card for you possibly no he is very slow right now we can rectify that a slight bit um with training him up but he is going to be a little bit slow as you see there but rising shot dipping shot long range shooting first time shot one touch pass way to pass pinpoint cross and low lofted pass and fighting spirit it is a very decent card is it as good as the england pack one that there that, that is there with 39 levels or whatever levels it will be um possibly not but i think that this one with 33 levels is going to be a very strong player i mean especially if you kind of take away some of the passing right i think 88 is more like 86 is more than enough with 91 lofted finishing at 80 if you are going to be taking a lot of shots that's going to be boosted by not only an 88 kicking power um, it's also going to be boosted by all of these shot, uh, shot player skill shots uh, selection here, right? That you'll be able to get a different shot pretty much in any animation, right? 
ball control is going to get the boost, um, stamina is going to get the boost, acceleration is going to get the boost, and you also have 78 aggression with defensive engagement there as well. I mean, if you have him as an attacking midfielder, he's going to be a pest. Like, he is going to be really annoying because he's going to be blocking balls and doing different things. And, of course, you can also throw double touch on him if you wanted to do that. You could do, you could put on roulette. You could put on a couple of different skills if you wanted to go that route with him. If you want to make him a little bit more aggressive, you could put interception and blocker on him. There's a lot that you can do with these cards, especially now that these cards do have the B form, right? And then last but not least, we have Frankie Lampard, right? So Lampard to me, again, is some player that he just kind of falls through the cracks in the game, right? Even though the game, you can play it in multiple different ways, like, you know, I use collar up front. There is kind of a meta with the midfielders that you need to have, I would say... You need to either have like really solid defensive players in midfield like DMF, uh, CMF, or else you need to have very mobile, like, you know, all rounders, right? Now, this Lampard isn't too bad, right? He has got dipping shot, rising shot, long range shooting, one touch pass and knuckle shot. So he pretty much has every single player skill that you could want for shooting. And he also has one touch pass, true pass and way to pass with low off the pass as well. So his player ID is going to be absolutely insane. Yes, he's slow. But the way that the game is now at the moment, it's all about just taking your time on the ball. Um, or sorry, taking no time on the ball and just, you know, spreading it. So you don't need to run with the ball too much, which means that this guy Lampard is, is you know, a brilliant hole player. You know, hole player is always so easy to play with. So I think playing him as a CMF is a waste of time. I'm definitely going to train him up, which you see what you see on the screen here as an outright AMF, right? So you can see here that we're going to have offensive awareness, ball control, low pass, lofted pass, and the kicking power that are all going to get the boost to be nearly at the 90 stage, right? You combine that with a whole player, you combine that with his B form, you combine that with his unwavering form, and you also combine it with all the player skills that you have here, and he does become quite a monster, right? Now, I would slightly change this build, especially if you don't shoot a lot, I would change this build just ever so slightly, right? Um, I would take down the dribble in a fraction. You don't need that dribbling to be that high if you're going to be getting rid of the ball quite easily. Um, and I would probably pop it up to have 90 offensive awareness. Lampard will make those runs that you really like to see him make um, when he's kind of bursting through from the box or bursting through in around. And I definitely think having 82 finishing is going to be killer on this card as a whole player. It's just something unique and something different with the player skills that we haven't really seen before. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back. As you know, we will be streaming today. We're going to have a load of other videos to do because we have to cover the English League Showtime here. Uh, Ruben Diaz, Salah and Odegaard, which are some brilliant cards. We've got the J-League Monthly MVPs and we also have the return of the best ever version of Pedri. Absolutely insane uh, pl player, I would say, top five cards in the game. So we will do that as well um, quite soon. So we'll have a lot of videos up and we will be live streaming. You know where to find all everything that you need. So if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and we will be back later. Peace.